Hey everyone, it's Ismay. Welcome back to some Half Past Fate. We're going to be doing your love today. Let's jump on in and see which characters we have. I'm just glad we finally get to see what happens during good or bad. Okay, yeah, but first... Oh, dang, okay. Yeah, yeah, I know, but we have a case. Actually, we already know he gets kicked out, so I guess we might as well go in there first. <laughs> no, not quite. I mean, there's for sure the guy's wallet. Okay. <laughs> nice, dirty bench. I'm, I'm sorry. Is there anything else? Okay, I guess not. Hello. What if I bothered her anyway? No? Okay. Oh, sweet bunny. I don't suppose... Sorry, I can't go anymore that way. No, all right. Does that mean we want to take them? <laughs> nice. Oh, okay, so this is where he was before we took its coat from him. Huh? Is it this game? Guess not. We're gonna bug him anyway. Okay, stay back.
anything up here we can look at? Okay. But we don't want it. It doesn't look like... Are you sure you don't want to play? All right. Let's see. What else do we have going on? Ooh, what's that? Nothing? Okay. Well, I guess let's just start by giving this guy back his wallet. You left your dog's bone locked in your office, though. Mara has to track that down for you. Yeah, don't worry about it, Karen. I think he's just bored and like talking to everything at this point. Like anything to make the time pass. I feel like I remember him telling Rendon something about 8th and 9th Street. Okay, I think I got it right because an achievement popped up. <laughs> and he left. He didn't say like, oh, that sounds wrong or something, you know? Great, Jen. That means you only have 25 more minutes. This little cactus. Oh. Um, I guess there's probably over here then. That did not sound great. <laughs> Mechanic, Karen. Why not? Oh shoot, it's Milo's car accident. Oh wait, we're the tall, handsome stranger they were talking about? Heck yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think it works like that. Hi, yeah, buddy. I got you. Milo's like, he's strange, but he's helping, so. Oh, okay. Oh, 
No, Darren's such a good guy. Alright, so the only place I know for sure that there were tools, I think, was up here. No, maybe not? Okay. Hey, Andy. Hippopotamus, that's cute. But hey, now that we're BFFs, can I borrow some tools? <laughs> Right, the tools weren't back there, but he was, so we still got them from there. Yeah, sure. Not this time. Maybe next time. Oh, wait, yeah, the front of the car. Duh. I was like, wait, I got the perfect idea. There we go. Right, right, right. As you can see, I know a lot about turning tires. Actually, the only times I've ever helped change a tire, we didn't have wheel wedges. So, now I feel like we were just being extremely unsafe. a bit of both.
I wonder what Stacy did or didn't do to make Milo so upset since like he's the one that broke it off with her, but he's still, you know, extremely upset. Oh wait, maybe... What, what is this again? I don't know, let's just go bug more strangers. I don't remember the list of things that we needed. Maybe there is nothing else and I'm just doing it wrong here. There's one inside, or maybe the gardener has one, so let's try those two ideas. Okay, or not. Maybe both of those ideas are falling through. I Yeah, there we go. I just wanted to walk along the street, not necessarily through it. This isn't a... Oh. <laughs> well. That makes sense. This doesn't look like a wrench. I wasn't... Uh, like, I didn't catch what they said it was. And it doesn't look like a wrench to me. That's my bad. Well, I guess, all right, let's finish taking this one off and then we'll grab this here. Thank you. Oh, okay. Not allowed to yet. Come on, Karen, you got this. He got very tired. Wink, wink. Okay. Here. Don't want this. So now we do the folds and then the hub cap and then we call it the How do I... Do I just do this? I was about to say like, how do I get it back? <laughs> This is tripping me up a little bit because sometimes I need to just hit space and sometimes I actually need to use my inventory. I need to pay better attention to exactly what step we're on probably and that wouldn't be so hard to deduce. Now we lower it. 
And now we use the hubcap. And then we give the tools back. <laughs> Fast, he says. I mean, I tried. I'm like low key stalking this lady. Don't worry about it. Right, exactly. Like, even if it's negative, at least we'll know. Hey, okay, don't forget to shut your trunk. Yeah. Goodness day. Yeah. Put Andy's tools back. And then maybe even put the rock somewhere. That way, like, not only are we, you know, stalking her, but we just, like, show up with rocks. That might be kind of interesting. Okay. Maybe we don't need to put the rocks anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh no. No, we gotta stop her. We put in way too much effort to not find out a for sure answer. Okay, so it wasn't a fake number. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that sums up my last what day? My crazy day. Not just that, but I'm really glad we did stop her. I wonder if he's going to start calling her by her real name, maybe at their date. 
well, not her real name, but you know, her not nickname. Now, wait, no, we're not ready. All right, guys, that does it for chapter 11 of Half Past Fate. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm glad we finally got Jaren and Anna together, and I'm so, so glad that it wasn't a fake number. Like, I, I almost let her go just because, like, I didn't want to see Jaren break into a million pieces, but I'm so glad that we had her stay. Anyways, maybe later I can post um, what happens if you let her go. But until then, this has been Ismet. See you guys next time for chapter 12. <laughs>